Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to our little uh, hotel chalet place here in the footsteps of the Alps, right next to Mont Blanc there in the distance. Unfortunately, we got to say goodbye to this lovely place right now. Uh, actually, about five minutes ago, I'm, I'm, I'm late. I, I was supposed to check out like five minutes ago, but I'm on a little bit of a, I'm having a little bit of a nightmare. I've lost slash misplaced my deodorant. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have to stink for the day i guess uh chucked all my kit into the bag bosh good to go Woo. oh mr caffeine shampoo you can come with me never gonna turn down a freebie thank you very much all right it's time to say goodbye to hotel le bons you serve as well but it's time to get in a taxi bye <laughs> So many cyclists, man. I got something to tell you and it's something I should probably explain. No, I didn't get a transfer to the airport. No, I'm not going back home. I'm staying in France, guys. How can I leave this view? How can I leave this? The thing is like, there's barely any roads on that side of the valley. So it, it almost looks like a fake picture. Like there should be a green screen here, but I can confirm that is in fact real. Wow. So here where I am right now, I'm in a town I mean, I don't, I can't, okay, so I'm getting run over. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to do my best, so I'm sorry. saint Martin de Belleville. I tried. I'm pretty much the way things are. Uh, I came to France with Skoda. I did the attack with Skoda and the Wheel of Cycling magazine, but I'm staying in France uh, for the next week with Wahoo. So they're pr basically providing a place for me to stay in this lovely, lovely little village. Oh man, found some shade. It's like 20, 28 degrees, I think it is today. But basically we are where the final feed zone was in the etape yesterday, which is um, also stage 20 of this year's Tour de France. It's probably, it's, it's the final GC, GC day. It's probably the place where the overall is gonna be solidified. Like this, literally this climb here. So the road here, the tour goes up this road and we are staying up there. So we actually rode up this road yesterday in the tap and we are about 10k from the top of the climb from the top of Val Forens where uh, the ski resort is where the tap finished so a pretty insane location and the tour doesn't come here until next Saturday which means I've got a week to just ride here and do cool sh I don't know I'm in France in the summer mental so this is the absolute oh it's Mr Chris Pritchard this is a uh, little pad for the next for the next week not bad not bad at all and from the window so that's the road there that the tour goes up we got a pretty good pretty good view pretty good view mate what we're we gonna do for the week on the side of a mountain in, in... what we're gonna do we're gonna wait for the Tour de France to come and the Tour de France comes right outside our door already said that are we gonna go riding up some mountains yeah <laughs> well firstly firstly we're gonna ride down the mountain yeah then we're gonna ride up the mountain see i'm down for riding up the mountain first and then we can finish with a ride down the mountain yeah, i suppose we're right up on we're halfway this... up aren't we so and this climb back up here is easier than well i, I don't know you went up that way <laughs> is it easier no it's bloody hard but we're currently at i think 1500 meters no 1345 meters all right whatever he just said which i don't think is quite high enough to like make adaptations from the altitude so obviously when you get to altitude oxygen's lower so your body increases your red blood cell count it makes more red blood cells which in turn makes you makes you faster makes you fitter uh, which is why i like the pros go go training at altitude but i don't i think for that to happen you have to go to around 2000 meters which the top of the climb is higher than that but where we currently are is, is 1350 or whatever whatever he said so chris is here also he's got, the tim is going to be here just the three of us um but tim's not here for the next few days so it's just me and me and me and this let me ask you a question though go on then if there's no adaptation yeah why is it so hard to ride up here then there has to be some sort of Cause adaptation because it, it's hot is it no it, higher up yeah yeah but i mean right now where i'm at yeah because of my fitness level yeah do i not see any adaptation from this because I, I literally have to ride for two minutes and i'm out of breath i think that's because it's hot though isn't it no that's because there's no oxygen up here really someone i bet there's some wizard in the comment in yeah. the nose so let us know in the comments we, are we are we feeling thinner oxygen here at 1500 meters i don't think so but who knows i'm not i'm not a scientist no, neither am I, but all i know is it hurts maybe get a little bit fitter then 
So we're probably left until the worst possible time of the day when the sun is at the highest, which means it's the hottest. It's like nearly 30 degrees. But that's just complaining. I only got here at like half past 12, so we don't really have an option. But we're gonna go for a bike ride. We're on this, we're staying on this climb, and there's only two. There's two ways. You can either go up the hill or down the hill. We're gonna go down and then back up. Mr. Bridge. Imagine how much hot they they must be over there. In those oh. campfires. Yeah, there's air conditioning though, isn't it? If you if you turn it on. All right, we're gonna go down the hill. Let's go. Ladies first. Yeah. I'll go. <laughs> so this is five minutes from our doorstep. Wow. Wow. All right, now it is time to descend down the mountain. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo. I forgot my GoPro, so I can't show you any footage, but this is it. Let's go. 27 minutes, no 28 minutes. Average 42k an hour but 111 watts. I reckon we're just bloody aero, mate. <laughs> bloody aero. But now the issue arises, we've got to ride the other, the other way, back up that climb. This is it, hook a right. And now, I tap the door. Now we climb. Okay, so not that I'm going to complain about the heat. The heat is sick. But luckily this climb is pretty well shaded, so it's in the trees, so it's nice and uh, we got a little bit of a breathe. How you feeling, mate? <laughs> no words for the vlog. Alex Lorenz. Alex Lorenz. Alex Chris. Alex Chris. So during the attack yesterday, I stopped and got a picture of that and posted it on Instagram. Love mom. How about that? Did you write it? What? Yeah, did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. You love my girlfriend. That's secret. You wanna? You wanna go, buddy? I would not go there. I've been there. I mean, what? Okay, so we just rode, or I just rode a little bit up past the chalet, uh, through the town of Saint-Martin, where we're staying, up to like, the other side of it, because uh, I decided that I wanted to do a bit of an effort. I mean, not too hard, just like tempo, but I, um, my thinking was, like, I was still suffering today. Like, I'm still kind of feeling tired, just like riding at zone two. Like, it, it just hurt, so. My thinking was, if I push myself a little bit, if I, uh, you know, raise my heart rate up and, and just pressed on and just sat at like, I think I averaged like 3.30 there for 10 minutes, so not the hardest of rides, but if I just raise my heart rate a little bit there, it would, um, you know, my body would adapt quicker to the, uh, to the heat and the altitude or whatever. I mean, mainly the heat. We're not exactly that high up in terms of altitude, even though it kind of looks like we are. 1,300 meters we are here, so. Yeah, hopefully after that little bit of an effort, I'll rest up and recover, and moving forward, we should feel a lot better. That's my thinking anyway. Here he is. Poor little Chris suffers even more in the heat than I do. I can't, I don't think I'm that skilled to blow. No, I've, I've zoomed in on your head, it's okay. What did you say, mate? I said if you want to know what heat strokes like, give it about 20 minutes and, uh, and come and film this. How many things am I holding up? Eight. All right. I think it might have a problem here. You know what I was thinking on the way up? Climbing is like a weird paradox. Like the harder you go, the more it hurts, but the faster you go, so the quicker it gets done with. Mm -hmm. Don't know, some weird little thought I had going on my, on my head whilst I was doing my effort. He's already on the coke as well. Where's mine? Sorry mate, that's the last one. <sighs> so we just made a little, a little walking to the shop to get some food for dinner. We're just walking around the uh, the village now that we're staying in of San Martin. But we just found this house, right? Look at the areas on the top of that. I mean, are they trying to are they trying to con contact space or maybe an astronaut lives there, checking in with his buddies at the sta space station? So one thing I haven't told you guys is I've actually been here before, at this exact village of of Saint Martin de Bellevue in in France in the French Alps because I've been skiing here. Uh, not like it was years ago, so I don't really remember it too well, but I remember bit like little different bits and it's so weird seeing like a ski resort in the summer. Next to the shop there is a, there is a button lift and obviously it's not a, not an operation now, it's just, a, it's just a field on the side of the hill with a, with a lift, but yeah, it's bizarre. I reckon here, Chris, is going to be a good place to watch the tour because it comes, comes up through that gap, along here, around here, past Chris's head, up there, and then boosh into the up to the top of the mountain. I can't help thinking we're not going to be the only people here. 
<laughs> Half of bloody Belgium's gonna be here as well. <laughs> there's guys that there's camper vans on on this climb like at various points already, and the race doesn't come here for another seven days. Like Belgium and Dutch uh, camper vans, and also French ones. And and where? British. And, and British. There's British camp fans as well that have come here because like, this is like the final GC day of the tour, so it's going to be hopefully pretty, pretty chaotic and hopefully pretty, pretty mental in the race. So everyone wants to have the best view, and I reckon we might be the ones with the best view. The well, fact that we can watch it on TV. Yeah, and then just walk outside and then be like, oh, there's the race, oh. boom. And then go back in and finish watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. Hello, mate. He look okay. Don't hurt me. I'm gonna walk away and leave you be to eat your food, and I'm gonna go eat go and eat mine. Speaking of dinner, here it is, created by Christoph. Uh, we got some fajitas on the go. El Clasico, a little bit of Mexican here in. I nearly said Spain. Here in France. Are you uh, you gonna rate it for me? Let me know how good it is. <laughs> you have to get the eating shot. You know I hate that. When uh, no, ending it. No. What is he doing? He has no idea, does he? Boss man, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to back out of this now. And look, I won't call you a pussy, I won't say any nasty things on the vlog, but I understand, I'll understand. Have you seen this? So we've done a little bit of a practice. How are we gonna do this? Just first to 11. Yeah, best, first to 11, best of three. Best of, best of three or first two three? Alright, I haven't got very many angles to work with here, so I'll just tell you when I've won. Cameron Jeffers versus Chris Pritchard. Game one. I've got the phone if you want. See? Hey. Maybe I should do it blindfolded. Six that game, 2-0 to me, 11-6, 1. I wonder, wonder if I could play in the vlog. Oh, I'm still in the start, so I'm not. Oh, oh no, nah, I'm putting the phone down. Okay, final game, it's one of Chris. What do you mean final game? No, it's not. <laughs> this is a final comeback. 1-0. One 1-1. One one. Situation 3 2 to me, we've got a different camera angle. Let's have this, let's do it. No! Yeah. <laughs> 4 2. Oh, oh, yes! 5 3. 6 3 yeah. 7. Come on. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. The wall's in the way! 7 4. 8 4. Come on, it's gonna be, it's gonna be 3 0. I told you. I gave you the option to not do this. We're good sunshine. Yes! Oh. 8 5. Five. 
Come on, Cam. Since I got DQ from Preston Reed, a crit that I won because I had a GoPro. That is my first one of the year, oh, so. Alright, game number two. Game number two. Pull. So our, our little shower, he's got all of the amenities We're downstairs in like the basement. There's a pool table, a uh, table tennis table over there. Now I've got a pool table. Chris records he's got a better chance of this, which I have to strongly agree with because I've not played pool in a long, long time. And, well, do you just want to tell everybody at home the, the kind of pedigree you have when it comes to table tennis. Why? What do you mean? Well, a bit of a ringer, the fact that, I don't know, someone in your family was pretty good at it. Yeah, my dad played my dad played table tennis for Northern Ireland. That's something not many people know. And now like ten thousand people know it, so. Be proud of him, that's amazing. It's, it's, a shame, pool. it's a shame he didn't teach you better though. Because you're not still rubbish. I'm the solid balls, Chris is the stripy balls. He's got <laughs> It didn't go in, mate. Uh, oh, 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 oh I have one, two, three. Four left, Chris is one, two, three, four. Oh, it's mate, we're pretty evenly matched at the minute. Here we go. Some first person or some closer batching. Can the ball go in? Oh, you hate to see that. <laughs> My go. Now we've got this issue of this ball down here next to Chris's two balls. I'm going to go, go in top, top line, top right. My balls are at the top. My, my, my two balls are at the top, and I can. Have, and apparently, with the with the white ball, you can only hit forward. That's the rule. I mean, I feel like Chris is making the rule because we go. Stop. That's it. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> right, there we go. Can you confirm that I have to hit that way? Yeah. Because if not, everyone in the comment section is going to have your pants down. The rule is the rule I play is. The line that should be there, you have to play forward from it. Right, let's do it. I mean, I might as well close my eyes and do this. Do it then. That's such a stupid rule! What am I supposed to do? I'm not running against all of them. Don't have your balls up at the top. Oh, you joking. <laughs> Chris just played my ball! So now I've got two shots and one, two shots, one ball, and then black. Oh, oh you, you don't put that in. No, I need to. I need to get that one in there and bring it back down, fresh back down the, the table. Oh, easy. <laughs> if I can get it in the hole, I'll be happy, man. For the first time you ever did. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. All right, that's only one nil. Best of three. Best of three. Let's roll it over. There you go, mate. There's a couple of balls. I know you need some. Hey, hey, lads, 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 lads. There's a couple more. Yeah. Table. Oh, have you just snookered yourself? Oh, no, you haven't. You haven't. But this is this is the situation. Game number two. Chris has hit all his balls in now. He just has to go for the black. Can he do it or is he going to bottle it? That all right. Won't, that won't pass. No, that's not getting in there, is it? Why am I even stood here? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he pied the white. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't film it. That means it didn't happen. Uh, one more to go. That one all come best of three. So it comes out of this one. I might I reckon I'll start playing drop in this one. I need to stop going easy on him. Alright, game game number three. Yeah, game number three. I'm on the black ball. Chris has got one more left. Let's see if we can get it in that bottom corner. Probably not. I need to, I need to tickle it. Oh! Ronnie Silver, calling you out right now. Play me. <laughs> yes! 